Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Do you feel like the spark in your relationship has fizzled out? Has your partner become more and more distant with you lately? Whether it's a romantic partner or a platonic friend, it's not uncommon for one or the other to lose interest in a relationship. Maybe they've become unsure of your future together, or it's because you have different priorities at the moment. While it may depend on a number of different factors, in this video, we have compiled six common reasons why someone might lose interest in you. Number one, they aren't sure about what they want. Have they stopped texting you as much after the first few dates? Another reason why someone might lose interest in you might not have anything to do with you at all. It could just be that they aren't sure of what they really want in a relationship. They may have shown interest in you at the beginning because they're trying to figure out what type of person they are compatible with or want to surround themselves with. Number two, the relationship began on lust. Did your relationship start off hot and steamy? Being sexually attracted to someone is often the way a lot of relationships start. While there's nothing wrong with relationships based on sexual attraction, there is a risk that the relationship will fall apart once the initial attraction fades away. Number three, you don't feel confident. Do you always shrink into yourself or look down when you're talking to someone new? Do you often feel overly self-conscious around your crush? When you don't have any confidence in yourself or think that you're not worthy of a good relationship, you may end up developing a tendency to shut yourself off or hide away who you truly are. Because of this, those who actually wanna to get to know you and wanna pursue a relationship with you might think that you don't feel the same way, so they end up losing interest and leave. Number four, you're oversharing too soon. Have you ever told someone you just met everything that's going on in your life? Maybe you tell them about the weird and gross dream that you had the night before, or the chaos that's going on with your best friend's love life. Whatever it is, it might just be a little too much for them to handle. While it's normal to share everyday things with someone you like, oversharing the personal details of your life to someone you've just met may become too overwhelming for them to the point that they start losing interest in their relationship with you. Number five, you met at the wrong time. I know this sounds cliche, but have you ever wondered if you might've met the right person at the wrong time? Perhaps you've just graduated and you're trying to figure out what you want in life while they're already thinking of settling down. Even if you believe that you're perfect for each other, the differences in your priorities may end up pulling you apart. For example, you may need to dedicate your time to studying and working and you don't have time left to put into any relationship. This may cause one of you to start losing interest in the other in the long run. And number six, you're unable to communicate in a healthy way. Maybe you find what they're saying to be really triggering, but instead of letting them know, you keep it to yourself become passive aggressive or start to distance yourself from them. The changes in your mood can largely affect how you act and behave around them. If you don't communicate how you feel to them, they may find your sudden changes in behavior to be abrupt and upsetting. This goes both ways as changes in their mood may also put a strain on your relationship and cause you to lose interest in them. Did you relate to any of these reasons? What do you plan to do differently? No matter your situation, we hope you continue to keep living your best life and to continue your lifelong journey into understanding yourself more every day. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with someone who might benefit from it too. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.